yesterday was Memorial Day. Today is Tuesday. You guys will be seeing this Wednesday. Um, we went to the river this weekend. We were going to stay the whole weekend and come back Monday, but why do we leave? Oh, and her sister ended up having to leave early and I don't know. We just kind of left earlier. Well, and, and just, I mean, we could beat the traffic if, oh, we that's left, right. if we left Sunday night compared to, you know, come home Monday when everyone's going home. Yeah. And we don't really get much traffic. So we left kind of late Sunday. I was going to film a video like on the house and kind of like the finished house as far as everything that we've done there. But we didn't have the right stuff to hang everything. And I, there's also one more thing that I need to get to hang on the wall. So I figured I'd do that next time we're there. So I'm sorry. I know I said I'd film a video of the house. Hopefully it'll be done soon. Um, but I did film some clips of just being outside and like the weekend. So I'm going to insert those into this video. And then today it's like back to normal, which it feels good. I did all the laundry yesterday. We got kind of everything unpacked. I'm going to go grocery shopping in a little bit because we are out of food. We need food. So I'll share everything that I get from Trader Joe's. If you guys enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a like. It helps me out a ton, so if you can just click the like button. And if you are new, please subscribe. I upload here three times a week, and I would love to have you here. Say good job, Daddy. Good job, Daddy. Hey, good, Daddy. Big jumps, huh? Wait for it again. All right. Want to angle down? You ready, one? Let go, Dad. Go, Daddy. Go. Go, Daddy. Go. Go, Daddy. Go. bridal shower slash bachelorette party. It's like a combination day type of thing. Um, it's confusing because she's already my sister-in-law because they ended up eloping last year, but their actual like official wedding is happening soon. So I kind of forgot that it was coming so soon and I, I wanted to get an outfit for it. And I forgot, honey, you gotta use two hands, okay? On both sides. Yeah, without the handles. So I ordered something last night from ASOS. It was really cute. They have super cheap stuff there. Do you guys order from ASOS? I know I've mentioned that. I feel I like flower. I'm in between. I need flower pair of undies. Oh, you only have these ones. You can't stop thinking about those ones. Okay, June, those are hers. 
I mean, she once I do the laundry, that's when you guys get to put your stuff in your room, remember? I was saying I was kind of in between like ages of clothes because it's like I feel too young at like American Eagle now, but then other stores like feel too old. I don't know, it's super weird. So ASOS, I found the cutest stuff. I got a dress, I got some shoes that are really inexpensive too. So we'll see how they fit because it's all UK sizing. So I looked up the conversion chart. We'll see how they fit. But I wanted to go to Nordstrom Rack today really quick and see if I can find something just in case. We don't really have many clothing stores near us though. That's why I usually order everything online. I'm trying to think where else I could go. Oh, Target I was thinking might may have something cute, like a little sum, summer dress or something. Helping me, Mom. What a nice bro. What a nice bro. Thank you, Owen. Owen, did you say good morning? Thank you. That's nice. That's so nice. Yeah, that's so nice. Thanks, Owen. Thanks, Owen. Let's go read the book. Oli, come on. Let's read this book. Hold on, we're gonna read it. Oli, come sit. Yeah, go sit with her. Sure. Here, come on, come sit. 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 Come on, Bubble gum. It's a shower spraying the, the fire out. Can you kick it? Can you kick it? Oh, look at that's a volleyball thing. Volleyball thing. Now, now look at the next thing. It's fire and it's something correcting that. Fire and it's spraying out. It's spraying out all the water out. I'm wearing this. Kind of like a sweater top. I got this at H&M, super comfortable. And I like that it's a little shorter, a little crop because a lot of my shorts are higher now, higher waisted. And then these jean shorts are from Abercrombie. I have showed you guys the Target ones a lot. Let me come out here. And the Target ones are great. So I'll link the Target ones below, but these ones are more of like the um, thicker denim. And I, I really do like them. They stretch out a little bit more during the day. Um, they're a little shorter than the Target ones and a not as high-waisted, but I do like, they're like a little bit more distressed um, and like relaxed. These shoes I found at Costco, I feel like it was the best score. They were $14 and they're so comfortable. The brand is Kenzie. And then this bag is Angela Roy. I love the color. It's like this kind of army green shade. So pretty, it matches everything. It's kind of like a neutral color and it fits a lot in here, but I like when I'm going to run errands, I just do a cross body bag, super easy. I don't want to have anything heavy like a diaper bag. And then this necklace is Ana Luisa. I love their jewelry. I'm not sure where this small one is. I think it's from Miranda Fry. Our sitter will be here in about five minutes. So I'm like ready to go out the door. Also guys, this is back in rotation, my cramps roller, because I started my period and this is life changing. I do not use ibuprofen anymore. Um, if you guys have been following me for a long time, like I get really bad, bad, bad periods. And this makes my cramps so much more mild. So in here I have Dragon Time, um, Clary Sage, I have them up here, I have Clary Sage, Dragon Time is green. Dragon Time, which is really great for like hormonal uses. Clary Sage is super good for cramps. And then I think the other one I have in there is Panaway. So that in combination with Progestance Plus. So I do Progestance Plus, I put a roller top on that, roll it on either inner arms or inner thighs every single night. And that is 
made from a natural form of progesterone. So it's extracted from yams. So I do that every single day, be consistent with it. And it has made my PMS symptoms so much more mild. I used to get so moody and like snippy with Andrew right before my period would come. And now I don't even really know when my period's coming because I'm not like feeling these like highs and lows. I used to be, I would do heating pad all the time. I'd be taking ibuprofen, like four ibuprofens every few hours, every time my cramps would kind of come back. With this though, I roll it really low, like right down there anytime I feel my cramps coming and it just really dulls the pain. Okay, we're back from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna show you guys everything I got. We have some white cheddar corn puffs. Everybody's already eating these, that's why they're open. Some sweet potato fries. I got a few. Oh, and I spent $200 on the dot. That's our budget for the week for food and Last year, I think I mentioned this, or no, whenever, before our car was paid off, we were paying 150 a week for groceries, but now that my car's paid off, we upped the food budget a little bit. So now we're paying 200 a week for groceries. I get that question asked a lot about how much we spend for food. Um, and I spent 199 today, I was pretty, actually, I did buy a few things at Target. Um, like food wise. So I guess I spent a little over, but I feel like we're really low on food. I got some shredded cheese, these uh, hard boiled eggs for the girls. I, I know I can just make them myself, but sometimes convenience wins me over. Some rice, cauliflower, stir fry. I am not eating cauliflower, still broccoli, but I need to get some stuff for Andrew too, like for cooking meals. So I figured I would just try it and we'll see how my body reacts to it. I did find that when I ate avocado the other day, we got these delicious poke bowls. There's this place by us and you make like a bowl with a couple different types of fish, like a ahi and salmon. And it's basically like a deconstructed sushi roll so good, oh my gosh. Uh, but I did get avocado on it and it gave me an upset stomach along with the seaweed salad. I love seaweed salad. I think it was hard on my digestion. So the following time we went there, I did no avocado, no seaweed salad and I felt fine. So it's crazy what your diet does, you know? Okay, I got two things of these yogurts for the kids because we go through them really fast. Some frozen pancakes, easy thing. Some meatballs, these are the turkey meatballs. I also got a bunch of these perfect bars. I think they're in the other bag. So good, I love them. You keep them in the fridge. We've been getting these for years. They have a bunch of different kinds, 14 grams of protein. There's 20 superfoods in here, just made with really good ingredients. Love those. Okay, have some breaded chicken breast nuggets. These are actually gluten-free. Some of the barbecue chicken teriyaki. Got some of this vanilla almond granola cereal for Andrew. It looks like honey bunches of oats. Got that for him. Some of these cherry pomegranate toaster pastries. A few rice pastas. They're like the mac and cheese, but they're gluten-free. So it's nice to make those if I'm making them for the kids because if I'm hungry, I can have a few bites of them. Okay, um, these, they love so much. These Joe's O's, they're like SpaghettiOs, but so nasty. They eat them cold sometimes. They're like, mom, can you just pour it straight out of the can? Like, sure. Okay, um, these are always in our pantry. The fruit bars are just like those bars that are called That's It, I believe. And they're just made with fruit. So I like those too. Sometimes if I'm rushed and heading out the door, I'll grab some of these. Okay, candied walnuts for salad. Um, some more gluten-free all-purpose flour. They changed the packaging to this, but it's basically like a one-to-one -one ratio for normal flour. Very similar to the, I think it's a Bob's Red Mill uh, baking flour, the one-to-one. -one. Some milk. We go through three gallons of milk a week. It's actually insane. Spinach for myself for salads. Some corn on the cob. I love corn so much. Andrew doesn't love, like he likes corn, but doesn't like to eat it. He doesn't, he likes to limit his carbs, but I need some carbs, so. Um, asparagus. This is not low FODMAP, but we'll see. 
um, zucchini, strawberries. These looked amazing, so I'm gonna wash these right now. And then this is my absolute favorite kombucha ever. It's the strawberry lemonade kind. Pretty sure it's ex exclusive to Trader Joe's, but oh my gosh, you haven't tried it, it's so good. Okay, we have cherry tomatoes, bananas, a couple apples, some avocados, which I haven't bought in a while because they upset my stomach, but I got them for the kids for avocado toast because they love that. And then some oranges. Okay, veggie sticks, cheese puffs, some frozen potatoes, Again, easy side dish. Organic hummus, some yogurt for myself. Ooh, I'm almost out of my granola, I just realized. Orange juice. I water that down for the kids. If I'm ever giving them juice, it'd be like half orange juice, half water. Some organic salted butter, salami. We all love salami. I got two things of turkey breast. This is our favorite kind. Frozen waffles, gluten-free. Crisp, these are new, I think. Crisp, crunchy crisps. <laughs> so they're made with pea and chick, chickpea flour. Gluten-free everything bagels. I think we're out of cream cheese too, I just realized. Some sourdough bread. This is what Andrew and all the kids like for their bread. And then these are amazing, if you guys haven't tried these yet. The gluten-free cinnamon muffins. Holy cow. These are new. The cereal bars that they have, these are peach. So that's new for summertime. Dark chocolate peanut butter cups. I love having these on hand. If I ever am craving something sweet, I'd rather have something in the house just to like grab quickly rather than be like, oh my gosh, I want to go to the grocery store and grab some ice cream or something. So it's nice to have this. I feel like it makes my cravings less, like actually having some in our house. And I got three of these. So they're called Just the Lobsters. They're like Swedish fish but they're gluten-free and it's really hard to find gluten-free gummies. So they're a dollar. If you guys see these at your Trader Joe's, you have to stock up. Before they go out of stock, I'm gonna have to like buy a bunch. What I got from Target. So I got the girls and Owen. Some of these shoes are like the native knockoffs. They were $10 and I got the girls a size 11 and Owen a size eight. So they are usually like 11, 12 and Owen's a seven, eight. So we'll see how these fit. I also got some more tampons. These are the ones I like. They are organic cotton and I've gotten them at Ralph's and Target before. And I got this for Owen because the girls have a little flamingo one that I got them at Target like a year ago and he always wants theirs. So I got him a little crab, some Bobo's apple pie bites, some iced oatmeal cookie bars. So I just tried them on all the kids and they fit the girls perfectly. Owens has like this much room from the toe to the end of the, sh of the shoe, but they're tight around his ankles a little bit. So a smaller size would not fit. So I guess that's fine. He's, his feet are super wide, but not just wide, they're like really high. I got this for her shower. It's just super casual. So I figured I could wear it like just in the summer. The one I ordered online was a little bit dressier. I thought it was really pretty though and super soft. And then uh, this is for Owen. Got him a little tank top. I'm getting him 4T now. So crazy. Um, I thought that was really cute though. I like him in like that green color. And then I also got him just one of their short sleeve tops. These all shrink a lot, so I get them a little big. His like perfect size is 3T, but I like to buy things a little larger. And then I also got these tops for myself. Um, all my t-shirts are just t-shirts or like tank tops. I don't really have anything like a little more nice, I guess you could say. So I got this kind of purpley pink top. I gotta try it all on and see how they fit. But I got a small on all of them. This one had a pretty zipper in the back. And I just really like the material on all of these. They feel really nice and like thick. So I thought that one was really pretty. It kind of has like a little bit of a puff sleeve there. And then this one I thought was cute too. I like that teal greenish color. And then I also found these shorts. I, I'm a sucker for jean shorts, guys. So, I mean, isn't that, aren't those so cute though? I got a size six. It said 628 was the size, which is usually me. So I'll have to try these on. Okay, I just watered. 
our geraniums out here. I planted these recently. And guys, I am just the worst at keeping things alive. It is very hard for me, but um, I was reading that coffee grounds help. So I put some coffee grounds in there and I pruned them once we got back from the river. Like, do I need to cut this off or will this come back to life? I really do not have a green thumb. I want you to freak out. You want June to freak out? Why? Because <laughs> I like this. I'm joking. All right, they actually fit really perfectly. They are longer. So if you guys want something a little bit longer than the Abercrombie ones, these are good. These are actually really cute. I feel like they're like typical like mom jeans. So I will keep them, keep them. Um, they're a little, like they're, I'd say they're mid-rise. And then I just like the fray. They're kind of like, I guess a little bit nicer, not so destroyed as the other ones. <laughs> and then this top is really cute. It's just like a nice little blouse, but it fits well. Really like this. This is so fun. I love the sleeve and it fits really well. And the color is cute. It just is like, you know, a step up from like a t-shirt. This is cute too. I don't like it with these shorts. I'd wear with shorter shorts. Um, I don't know why, I just don't love it with these, but it's nice. It's just like simple and a little bit more cropped. I like the V-neck, I like the color. I wanted to share one little tip that I do for whenever I'm buying anything and that's to keep things down and also to only buy things that you really will use like whatever it is in your house, whether that's clothes, toys, anything. But that's the one in, one out rule. So some people do one in, two out, you can do that too. If I'm taking something in, I gotta get rid of something else. Now in the past, I would do like the same category. So if I buy a new shirt, I'm getting rid of an old shirt. But now what I do is just like literally anything in the house. So like just now, I, was organizing my drawers and I rearranged my socks and there's two pairs of socks that I don't really wear. So that counts to me as two items, so those two pairs of socks. But, so there's a few more things that I do need to get rid of still because I brought in more than just two things. So what I do is just throughout the day, I just kind of make a little assessment of stuff. I'll go through things and just find things that we're not using. And then it makes you a little bit more picky and selective when you are buying something. I used to have my shorts down here, so I just moved my socks down there instead. These are like workout socks, Pilates socks, and then like comfy socks. This side table is just so big, so there's a lot of space, so I just put them in light to dark. And usually I like to fold all of my stuff, like roll it, but I kind of like my shorts being flat so that they lay flat and they, you know, smooth out. I feel like this looks like a lot of jean shorts, but living in Southern California, this is literally all I wear every single day from about, <laughs> I want to say April until like maybe October. I'm not even kidding. So I feel like this is pretty realistic. And last here is the dress. So pretty. Really like this. I love the button down. I would just wear a strapless bra with this or just like a tan, a nude one. But I like the tiered. It's really flattering and just like fun and pretty for summer. That is gonna be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all very soon.